Hey, your views and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist. Welcome back to another round of Sir. Phil is actually sat in the room with me for this one. How are you doing there, Phil? I am. I've come down to Swindon again mm -hmm. um, for to say, say hello. Now, obviously, the last time I was in uh, um, in Swindon, we um, did an apprentice challenge. Yeah. And to, 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 I did quite well. You did, actually, um, yeah. You did quite well. Um, survived quite a while. Uh, no, I, think I, I think I cleared the first island. Yeah, you did do, if uh, I remember correctly. But uh, uh, no, we're just doing a sort of uh, a general chin wag. Yeah, podcast uh, style one, episode. One, one another. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the my balloon experiment challenge continues. I've had no luck with it so far. No, it's, um, it's, still, it's still ongoing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is fine. Um, but, you know, it's been an actually interesting challenge just to... Um, basically learn what sort of things you can actually parkour your way up um, because I really feel like I've learned some stuff um, over the course of this challenge so far which has been pretty dang good um, You've been enjoying it then? Yeah, I've been enjoying it I so. mm, feel like I've got unofficial achievements for uh, pushing the boundaries of the map and all that Yeah, so last time I was here we did uh, we did Superliminal as well didn't Yeah, we? that's right Last um, time you were down here, Sam Which was mm. very interesting We did the full playthrough at that Yeah and it was a very interesting little game, a very interesting concept, um, a sort of sequel to the uh, Museum of Simulation Technology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, if you haven't watched my Superliminal series, our Superliminal series, I should say, because, you know, it was a fully collab series, four episodes, myself and Phil, uh, all there, it was uh, pretty damn good, so it's worth a watch, especially if you like kind of perspective-based puzzles, things like that. It was a very, very good one. It certainly gets you thinking. Yeah. That's the thing about perspective-based proposals, where, where, where things go mm. and um, how you can interact with them, with the environment. And yeah. The, uh, a weird little storyline as well. Indeed, yeah. So it has like a little profound message at the end and all that, oh, which yeah, is good. Like so think, it's definitely worth mm, watching. I think Super Liminal was a good game because it didn't sort of overstay its welcome. It had just the right length. Oh, God, yes, all. yeah. Mm. Um, and it did have a few interesting levels as well. Some, of, some were difficult and... Um, aspects of that yeah um, now uh, it's been it's been a good time um, I came yesterday so today it's currently Saturday the 22nd of July yeah as when we record this oh, 23rd I, isn't it 23rd 23rd yeah um, mm, 22nd was yesterday yeah yeah so and I came I came yesterday uh, face planted into a wall <laughs> and yesterday we went to um, we just had a sort of look around the general area yeah it's good. Around the journey you showed me um, had a look at um, Roundabout. Uh, what else did we do yesterday? Uh, so we went for a year of us and we uh, started booking a uh, trip. Oh, of course, the main yeah. thing. Yes, how could I forget? Booking our trip to Germany. Yes, so that's, that's the main thing we did yesterday. We mm. did we did a huge amount of uh, booking. So we've got everything booked. We've got our flights, our hire car, yeah, and our, yeah, and a hotel as well, and any necessary insurance. Mm. And uh, we, we're all booked. So yeah. um, we're Just, going to uh, be uh, off to uh, Munich. Uh, around about the 15th to 19th of August. Indeed, yes. Um, so, good to know. it'll be actually quite a good trip. I mean, you know, I've been saying to you, Phil, I think, Lord knows, we're both kind of ready for a, just a trip oh God, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah need, a, need a holiday, because oh, uh, obviously we haven't been uh, been anywhere for ages, and especially since the uh, COVID pandemic. Yeah. It's uh, really hindered our chances, but we're finally going on holiday. Thank God. Indeed, yeah. It was the first time I've been abroad since 2013, Phil. I know, um, I can't believe that. For me, it's about 2017, 2018. So yeah. we're, we're both in dire need yeah. of, a, of a holiday, Indeed. that's for sure. Partly just because, like you say, the COVID pandemic and obviously having to go through the lockdown, not being able to really travel anywhere. And then, of course, uh, you know, with, like, with me, for example, just um, with work being really busy at the moment and then, um, you know, sail on a flat falling through and all that. So having to move out. And just move elsewhere. Yeah, it'll be nice yeah. to get out there because it'll be gorgeous weather uh, visiting Munich. So, uh, if you, any, any viewers out from Munich there, if you want to come and say hello, we'll be like, hello. <laughs> but yes. uh, we're going out, we're going for uh, five days to just explore the area mm -hmm. and um, see what's getting on. Just um, just going through an airport again will just be a wondrous thing. Yeah, indeed. But I've got so many rifle rounds. I think it's the most rifle rounds I've ever had in a game, Phil. I don't, I don't know think I'm... so, no. Oh, I think I've seen more. more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm collecting all this ammo, because um, this world that I created doesn't actually have robots on it, it's just had the yeah. balloon, just for my uh, experiment. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a good thing, isn't it, Phil? Yeah, um, so we've got that. Uh, hmm. And of course today we went for another walk, and we went to the uh, Steam Railway Museum. Yeah, the Steam Railway Museum in Swindon, um, which was a good one. It's the second time I've been there, first time Phil's been there. Oh, it's um, very, very interesting. Yeah. I absolutely loved, absolutely adored it. It was full of, full of lots of information and lots of things, hmm. facts. 
And I still, I like I've said to you before, I don't understand those people that uh, are like, oh, museums are boring. They're not yeah. they're really, they're really quite good. I Indeed. do enjoy them a lot. Everyone loves a good museum, um, you know, especially one like that where you know you've got all your even like your old locomotives and all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, you, can, you can read them. Yeah, it took us a good. We were in there for a good two hours. Yeah. Which was good. So yeah. we learned lots of lots of historical things, lots of things, and mm. then we've. Uh, come back and some lunch now doing some recordings indeed yeah so uh, an afternoon of uh, doing some recordings i think is in order phil uh, just uh, various bits and bobs we've already recorded a uh, funny little house tour video um, yeah which, which not <laughs> when i say house tour video ladies and gentlemen what i mean is uh, like a virtual tour of a house which uh, is a bit of a clusterfuck you'll see that if not already uh, at some point yeah, on the channel budget, of course yeah yeah mm. um, so we've we've finally got things that's why this is the the main reason i've, I've come down so we get the holiday booked better to do it in the same room yeah. rather than over sky like yeah that. it's just yeah. coordinates a bit better because there's a few more things that obviously we just need to arrange but we're going to be doing that sort of thing individually like you know the health insurance cards things like that yeah and some of that's free which is really yeah. good yeah um, so yeah, and, it's, and the drive down here is is certainly not too long at all. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky because um, sometimes driving obviously down the M6 from the north of England can be a right pain in the arse. Oh my god, the M6 but, is a, is a dire motorway. But yeah. if you go early, you miss it all, and everything's yeah. fine and dandy. Exactly, and that's the thing, you know. So yourself and plenty of time, you sort of avoid much of the rush hour traffic, things like yeah. that. Um, but yeah, it's a good one, um, indeed. So. And then uh, I will uh, probably leave here tomorrow. I don't. I don't know yet, but maybe about eight a.m. Yeah. Nine a.m. Give yourself plenty of time. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. the thing is, hopefully, with it being a Sunday, it's not going to be as bad. Yeah. Certainly not. I can envisage it being a bit busier than normal most Sundays, just because obviously the schools have now broken up. So I can see potentially there might be people driving around, just having days out. But I think yeah. if, you, uh, if you go early, um, you'll probably. I, think, I don't think it'll yeah. be. I don't think that. I don't that think it bad will be. Because, no, because I know they've broken. But yeah. they'll have light tomorrow and things to do. Yeah. Ideally, so. if you can like basically get through Birmingham before the rush hour, then it usually is just very, very helpful. Um, well, there shouldn't really be any rush hour. True. On a Sunday. Yeah. I mean, um, mm. Not that many people. Well, there's a few people who work, but there's not that many people. Yeah, there aren't. There aren't indeed. Let's see if I can uh, park all my way back up onto this church since I've figured out that you can. I hear the spooky music. Yeah, <laughs> so it's got, got quite some spooky right. music going on. Okay, it's always a bit awkward, but you can park all your way up onto this slowly. Oh, there you go. Hey, keep skyrimming it. <laughs> I like how that's basically entered my vocabulary know, now as a verb skyrim, to skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> because as it's in not to not... jump up. A it's service, it, but yeah. Yeah, it's not just an exclusive Oop. thing to skyrim. That's the thing. Yeah. Because we're doing the other Elder Scrolls game. I believe. There we go. Yeah, you can indeed. Um, you can get higher up onto there. It's a bit onto awkward. The yeah, uh, you have to sort of like go around the edge on here very, very carefully. There we go. Ooh, carefully does it. I've also got to say as well, I um, I find your new flat very nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. Oh yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful one. Yeah, I, I would say it's better than your last one. Yeah, I did. I remember yeah, in the oh, last, in the last one when I came here, when I the Adventure Challenge, I said it was a nice apartment, which it was. It was. Yeah, but I would say this one's even better. Yeah, very, um, very nice. And, yeah, uh, you've got like, got all your basic amenities. Not nope. too far from the not too far from the shops. Nearly died there. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you do rub a band a little bit, um, but you can get up to the top. It is possible. I've done it before, um, so yeah, you've, you've all seen that, ladies and gentlemen, watching previous episodes. You can get to right to the top. I have right done to the that. Top steeple. Yeah, indeed. So uh, been able to do that. Um, it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, so far the balloon has not gone anywhere near that church, which is unfortunate. And I've pretty much tested like the pylons, for example. You can't really climb too high up those. But eventually, like reaches a point where you can't just you just can't seem to jump any higher. Well, yeah. well right, so it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's a bit weird. You do also have to be careful, like sometimes you do get stuck on things. Obviously, because yeah, uh, it's geometry. It? Yeah, <laughs> geometry that you're not supposed to be on anyway. <laughs> Indeed. Um, right. Let's see now. Aye. So I've got a topic of conversation for you, Phil. So you've got uh, a topic of conversation, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Fire yeah, I've, away. Had, I've had this one uh, on, on my mind for a while, but I'm thinking it's a good one, actually, okay. uh, to do with, with you, either in the room or on Skype or whatever. Yeah. So um, it concerns the subject of video game soundtracks. And okay. um, the question sort of is, you know, what sort of video game, like particular video game soundtracks have you heard before that have had like a real sort of 
like an emotional impact or like you think of just uh, like a really memorable impact on you um so not just like you know favorite video game osts but ones that really stood out to you as being sort of really impactful because i can think of a few myself from various games um but are there any that immediately come to your mind well uh it's one of the core key concepts of, of a game sound design mm. making it uh, or some of the soundtracks are, um, are phenomenal um I must admit, there are some in the Assassin's Creed franchise mm. that I do like. Yeah, there are some very nice uh, action-packed ones that you, that you get um, as you uh, do a battle. Or the the main theme, Assassin's Creed Three main theme, is yeah. really good. I do like that one. Mm. It's quite um, orchestral. Love, orchestral, yeah. yeah the uh, Ezio theme, uh, yeah. which is the main theme that goes throughout many of the games, is also wondrous as well. I really, really do enjoy that. Mm. Um, and. Uh, what one soundtrack actually that's got real emotional feel is the um, one for Everybody's Gone to Rapture. Yeah, oh, that one. Mm. That is amazing. Indeed. The, the track in Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is really, really good. And it actually, the um, especially the track that comes on when um, when you're in the uh, village hall in the when you're in the you know in the camp. Yes. And she yeah. and um, little little Rachel is fading away when yeah. she's, she's doing her little poem or little song to her um, to the to the baby. Yeah. Uh, and the music that comes in there is very profound. Mm. And the one that goes when you go from person to person. Yeah. Uh, that one's a transition. Well. It's very yeah. very very good soundtrack. Very emotional as well. Indeed. Um, if you haven't seen my Everybody's Gone to the Rapture playthrough, folks, you can find it on my playlists. Um, it's somewhere in there, in that jumble of various yeah, games that I've played. Oh, mm. I do love soundtrack. Yeah. Another soundtrack that's really quite good in, in Emerge is for um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I've not uh, heard any got, of those. Yeah, this, yeah, that's got very. The main theme for Horizon Zero Dawn's really, um, really good. Mm. The storyline as well is, is quite a thought provoking and, and quite a, a sad one as well. Yeah. Um, it's worth it. Um, you might be, maybe one day you might be able to play yeah, it. Yeah, maybe one day. Because obviously mm. there's the sequel now, uh, Forbidden West, mm. yeah. uh, which is said to be really good as well. Uh, they've done really well at uh, Guerrilla Games, I believe, is the uh, developer. Yeah. Indeed. So I'm not trying to think of uh, some soundtracks of my own. There's definitely like an immediate two. This which actually knows more than that. Than I yeah. think about it, that spring to mind. So um, one actually, you know, you'll recognise right away, Phil. Uh, you remember in uh, Wolfenstein: The New Order um, yes. when the Nazis ransacked the Chrysler Hideout? I love that ransacked. track. It's yeah. called Ransacked. Yeah. It's a great oh, track. That's, that. That, that's what it's called. I've yeah. been looking for that one to add to my Spotify playlist. Yeah. But I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah, that Rat is such ransacked. a good tune. It fits the moment in the game God, so does, well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wolfenstein: The New Order was a great game, but um, it's also quite yeah. a. Um, uh, emotional moment because it's the, they've finally found where yeah. the Chrysler Circle headquarters are, and there was a frow angle mm. comes down and passes it. Yeah, destroys Easy. it and kills a lot of your friends. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. So is that um, good another? Game, yeah, absolutely. Another soundtrack uh, for me that I had quite a great impact was from Death Stranding, uh, BB's theme, um, oh, which is yeah. the theme for like the little baby in the uh, yeah, baby in the pod. That's a very emotional theme. And um, what about? Um, mm. I know one theme that you, you would love. Yeah. The Beyond Good and Evil. Oh yeah. The one that also appeared that popped up in the Beyond Good and Evil two trailer. Yes. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. So when I think of Beyond Good and Evil Jade's as well, theme, yeah. I, I also think of the track that plays when you go into the lighthouse after it's been destroyed. And oh, like, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that one because when I first played Beyond Good and Evil, I was a teenager. And I think it was the first time in a video game I'd had sort of like a really emotional moment like that. I was like, oh shit, this got serious. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Um, it, it defines a game, really, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But, uh, you know, sometimes the, you know, a lot of games also have, like, you know, very uh, memorable tracks. For example, when you come towards the ending and it's like that kind of track that establishes yeah. that feeling of, I kind of don't want it to end. I wish it would keep going, but at the same time, it's quite a strong, you know, way to place to end it. So, like, the Dongan Romper games, for example, like, some of their tracks I can always, like, kind of play yeah, in my own yeah, head. I know yeah. that the. Um, uh, some quite jovial bouncy tracks like, as yeah. from Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Yeah, w when you play mm -hmm. that, the the first game, the theme for Crash Bandicoot one, the theme for Crash Bandicoot three as well. Mm -hmm. Really quite fun little jovial theme. And each level uh, that you go to has got its own theme, like Spyro. Yeah. Spyro's got its own sort of themes in each world. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's just a little bit about uh, video game soundtracks. Uh, I know there's really popular ones like the famous um, Final Fantasy VII, Eris theme. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Halo. The main theme for Halo is an absolute Indeed. wonder. Yes. Absolutely. I do like listening to video game soundtracks because some of them are just absolutely majestic. Mm. 
I think the uh, soundtrack to uh, Abzu as well was one that I quite enjoyed. Yeah. Because it was like jovial at times, emotional at others, sometimes like very grim and foreboding. <coughs> God, I, I would say the Fallout 4 main theme, mm. that one's really good. Yeah. It's a sort of a thing that puts together the um, uh, desolation, it gives you a feel of the desolation of yeah. the wasteland mm. um, of the uh, Commonwealth. Indeed. And the fact that it's up to you to try and uh, make heads or tails of it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just, it's a scenario. Uh, like, it's, what would you do in that sort of scenario? The, yeah. whole, the whole world had fallen. To you just come out of the vault and yeah. into a destroyed world. Into a destroyed world. 200, yeah. year, 200 years later as well, it would mm -hmm. it would cause horrendous things to your psyche. Yeah. It would mess you up quite badly, indeed. Um, but yeah, I mean, God. And the so things many, that you mm. once knew mm. uh, have all just been destroyed. Yeah. The world has changed beyond what you know. And you have to, and it's a lawless society as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, God, yeah. I mean, that's a that's a good range. It's a good topic of conversation as well. You know, for the viewers, uh, if they want to kind of join in as well. Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. Well, Skyrim's got some amazing tracks. <laughs> one, yeah. one of my most famous uh, Skyrim soundtracks is where you're just exploring mm. the outside. And I think I believe the track's called "From Past to Present." Yeah. And it's mm. the uh, it's the one where you're just basically exploring the. Uh, the, the world and it's absolutely amazing. I love that. That's Indeed. my favourite track. Uh, uh, apart from the uh, uh, the main theme. The main theme. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. The main theme is. The main theme is always a good. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> I've rubber banded off the rim of that uh, uh, chimney over there and came straight the down here, but it didn't actually hurt me. That's uh, pretty good. It's Just the, found a little glitch there. A little red broke the game slightly moment. <laughs> Indeed, yes. There we go. All right. But yeah, um, so yeah, those those are like my what highlights. About, yeah. What about uh, any uh, video game sign tracks that you thought were a bit naff? A bit naff. Um, any of those? Well, the thing about the naff ones is that you never remember them. That's the problem. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, it's, it, there's probably like certain kind of very amateur indie horror games or just indie games in general play, which have very generic, very general soundtracks, which. Just aren't that really stand out, um, but yeah, that's that's the problem. That's like a really difficult question because, like you say, you don't tend to remember them um, no, precisely because they just they just don't appeal to you, or you just find them a bit rubbish, or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's a good question though. Um, just kind of trying to trying to like rack my brains at the moment uh, to think. Any other interesting be. soundtracks? Yeah, I mean. Um, I like a lot of uh, Rayman 3's soundtracks as well, because um, there's some good ones in there. To do with like, the Land of the Living Dead um, and other locations. Or like the final uh, boss theme from uh, Ray Flux in the very end of the game. Oh god, yeah. The Tower of the Lectus, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's uh, mm. sound and soundtracks and things like that really, really yeah. keep a, a... They make or break a game. That's all, yes. As yeah. well as the sound design, you need that as well. Indeed. But... Um, as long as you've got a good soundtrack, yeah, um, and that, that that will push push a game forward. Mm, absolutely, indeed, 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 indeed. There we go. Yeah. Any other uh, soundtracks that come to mind for I'm you? I'm just Phil? thinking now. Um, I said the uh, the Skyrim, the some of the Assassin's Creed ones. Um, yeah. <laughs> Skyrim, Assassin's Creed. Um, Obviously, I know there's like good ones from like Red Dead Redemption. Um, of course, Dead Red Man's Dead. Gun, things like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, oh, Dead Man's Gun for Red Dead Redemption yeah. 1. That was fantastic. And some of the um, tracks in Red Dead Redemption 1 are actually sung. Mm. Yeah. They're some really good. Uh, Indeed. And uh, I do remember Red Dead Redemption 2 having sung. Yeah. There's a good one. The, um, well, sorry, you, you go on with what you were about to say then before I. No, I was going to say, yeah, I, I, actually, I must say, some of the Pokemon yeah. soundtracks mm -hmm. are good, like for the gym leaders, for the uh, the general routes. Um, there are some really good soundtracks in the Pokemon games that, uh, that I enjoy as well. Yeah. So I was about to say, uh, there's like a good um, OST I once heard from, I think it's a Metal Gear Solid, Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Yeah. Uh, it's called Nuclear. Which is like a sung one with vocals, but it's like a rock tune. It's actually quite um, good, quite a heavy sort of emotional feel to it. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what you want out of a, out of a game. Oh, Indeed. I, I can't believe I almost forgot the Pokemon games. They are, they've got some really good tracks as well to, to give you, um, like when you're fighting trainers or when you're fighting gym leaders. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> give it, give it, a go, give you the action packed feel. That's what yeah. it's all about. <laughs> I think another one actually just has sprung to mind now. Uh, it's probably the um, level one theme tune from Captain Claw, because that's just like very kind of 
Oh, it's good as Epi the epitome of my childhood, probably, <laughs> kind of, in a way of speaking. Um, the, uh, yeah. Captain Claw had some good soundtracks for each level. Um, and, and the famous uh, mm -hmm. intro. Ba -ba, yeah. Ba -ba, ba -ba. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The, uh, With the cannons firing and all that, indeed. Oh, there you go, folks. That was a little bit on uh, a video game, a sound at Thrax. Um, and what a yes, viewers. Give us your soundtracks that you really enjoyed. Mm. If you can even remember any that you didn't enjoy, tell us that as well. But um, for the ones you enjoyed, yeah, give us uh, a feel for um, what, what, what parts of it you liked. Did they provide emotional impact or was it just action pack? Yeah. <laughs> and um, what, what was your general thoughts to them? Indeed, yeah. That would be a good thing just to get a bit of conversation going. Uh, for those who want to do so. Um, well, that, I think uh, probably okay. we'll wrap up here. That's a good little podcast style yeah. episode, Phil. Yeah. Thanks for uh, joining me. Um, oh. Good to have you down. Yeah, it's good good to be here. I hope um, definitely come down again at some point. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, in that case, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, unlike is always appreciated. But on that jazz, signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, God. How did I not even. God, I didn't even. Them. They're clearly. Are they figures or are they mannequins? I think. I think they're mannequins, but I'm not sure. Uh, ooh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I'm glad to be out of there. That was a horrible room. I don't like it. It was not a good place to be. Okay. So they've definitely got the creep factor nailed down in this game. It's real good. December 2nd, 1967. I wish the things I heard were a lie, but it seems they are not. I'm too old to put up with things like this, Roberto. <laughs>